Hello, good morning. Welcome to Mickey and My Craft. This is Hilda, your host. I hope everybody is doing okay, having a wonderful weekend. Stay cool, cool, calm, and collected. <laughs> and uh, give a hug and a kiss your fur baby first. Today, this is an update of the Lisa Stitch along number four. Uh, I'm trying to finish this side because I haven't started well I did start it on this side but I gotta do the eagle so but before we start a subscriber mentioned that she had broken three needles of five that she received with a kid as a previous jewelry maker from scratch I'm talking about stainless steel metal sheets uh, 0.935 the argentium silver uh, stainless steel, no, uh, silver, argentium silver. You learn how to work with the metal because you have to balance the strength. And you have, if you're stretching the metal, you have to balance the stretch. So all metals in some form or the other work similarly. But needles are kind of a hollow metal, hollow thing. So what I, cause I haven't broke a needle and I have been doing this and this is not easy to do. There's a lot of detail in here and we're gonna talk about that when we start stitching. But something that you must learn and I'm glad that I got this gadget because I can put the colors with the respective needles. So what I did is I went through all my the 14 kits that I have until now, well, most of them, and I grabbed, I took a small container, I grabbed all the needles and put them in here, and I marked 14 count needles, okay? So what I do is, every time I do a collar, I pick up the respective needle. What that does is balance the strength that you put into that needle. And so far, I, have, I know I haven't done two, but I did the, the cat on the cup. I did it completely with two needles. And not because I broke one, it because I used two. Uh, there were more colors, but you know, it was a small one. On this one, uh, we are in color number 19. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's as far as I have been going. The last time we were in color number two. But there are some colors like these ones that don't have a needle because look, it's only one strand. You barely gonna use, uh, so probably I use a couple of needle to switch. I already did this one and it has its own needle. So, but these four over here, I mean, uh, there's not that much to do, so. Uh, and as you can see on the other ones, each one has their own needles. So I can balance the strength on the needles and they don't break because this is a matter of uh, wear and tear, right? Excuse me, I'm taking a sip on my so. But now. Let's go to the business of stitching. I'm going to show you a little problem that I have over here. Over here in this area, I have about... Uh, let's see if it's going to focus. Okay. So over here, I have a little problem with the yellows. There are three three different symbols uh, in here and when you look at the chart because at this point I have to go by the chart look those symbols have the same color this one this one this one well this one is more uh, how you say more identifiable this one and what was the other one? I saw another one. Oh, 
Uh, where is the X? I'm looking for the X. The yellow X. Here it is. This one. This one, this one, I mean, number 46, uh, number 39, number 40, they are very similar. So that means I probably have to employ a loop or whatever. Like I said, I'm working on color number 19, which is this symbol in red. This one that you see here. They have uh, they have a square in red. So I'm working on that one. And hopefully I will finish this week. And these yellows are gonna I'm gonna have to definitely go by the chart. You know, um, one I mean line by line or area by area. I probably gonna have to go by let me put this back. I probably gonna have to go by by the area because like all these are the pyramid are uh, color number 30, you know, and there's some over here and then there's a uh, color number 39. I mean the pyramid is color number 40. 39 is these ones with a little hole in the middle, but you can hardly distinguish over here. So, we are going to, and I had the camera in another position, so let's hope we can uh, see it better. Because I gotta see. <laughs> And last night I was right here doing this one and this is one of the thread that I hidden. Oops, you have to be careful you don't cut your thread. Oh sorry about that. But I usually have to put, okay, here it is. Here we go. I have to wear my pillow on the side for my arm. And I'm gonna have to get my light in top of me, I guess, right? Let's see how that works. Well, probably not. I'm sorry, guys. I should have taken care of this before we started. Because now I have a problem that you guys see, but I don't see. It looks darker on my side. And I gotta see. Hold on, hold on just a moment. Sorry, I have to move the camera. Whoops. Let's see. Oops. Don't do that. Okay. Let's get started. Now we can start. I still don't see very well. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pull the light back on. The one on the top to see there is no, you know, less shadow. Oh, where is my, yeah, this is my baby. This is my finger saver, <laughs> crusty scratcher. <laughs> That's what it is, let's see. I hope you have enjoyed how the diamond painting of this is coming out. 
and I hope you're having a good weekend. Oh, I got the wrong. I knew something was wrong. I got the wrong lens on my visor for this. No wonder I can hardly see. Hold on just a second. Oh God. So much stuff you gotta do, right? When you're getting old. <laughs> oh God. Okay guys, now. I hope you have hug and kiss your baby from Mickey and I. Mickey's on the house, meaning that he's out of his sleeping cage and he's in the living room waiting for me to put him on my legs. I don't do it now because otherwise he won't let me. He will start coming in and out and I can, you know, afford the interruption right now. So he's a good boy. He's my baby. Godido. I pet him a little bit. Okay, so again, what part are we in? <laughs> we are in here. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, different symbols that I'm a little confusing. So you have to be very careful. I'm on the part that I'm on the last. Four, right. No, one, two, three. Um, yeah, this is the last four. You see, this is what happened when they don't use different colors for the For the symbols that are look similar I didn't have any pro I don't know about Joy Sunday because I only did that small cut in the cup let's see what happens when I get to uh, start the ones for autumn and by the way talking about autumn even if you don't do cross stitch just vote just vote uh, anything that pleases your eyes but please follow the directions uh, for voting because uh, okay do I stop here this is when I start looking at the yes so we're gonna close again with a loop This is the only time because I don't want to be fanning myself with uh, looking back and forward. That's not me. You know, everyone has their own way, and whatever suits your floats your boat, that's fine with me too. So here we got. Another set. Where is the? I thought he had a. 
<laughs> I was gonna sue. I thought he had an extra, how you say it, land of the I guess we're gonna have to pick up another one because I thought he had an extra length of uh, threads I gotta take these off because otherwise it gets tangled on it Maybe I find it later, I use it for some other area. Don't tell me. This is the one. <laughs> it was right there, oh God, Jesus. Hilda, what's wrong with you? First, in the weaving shot of the Diamond painting during eagle. My pants start disappearing. My trade start disappearing. <laughs> and now over here is a thread. Oh God. I like to cut a little bit at the top. It makes it easy. Yeah, because there's only a few of them, and you don't need to have a long thing. And with this one, you know, because I go by section. That way, I don't have to worry. If I start going all over the place, I will miss it. Definitely, I will miss it. So, over here, we have one, two... One and two, three and two. No, two, two and one. Here it is. Two, two and one. That's what we already did all this. I already did all that. And after that, I already did this part. Two. So after that, we just have to move to one of the sections. So over here, I'm going to use uh, what they call it a pinch. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Are you seeing this? Instead, I try to come up in the center or at least part of the bottom of the square where I'm going to do the stitch. Okay, and then I make sure where is it? Right here. Okay, so. Putting my finger gladiator shield. Because <laughs> it looks like a gladiator shield. Um, now I hold the thread. And it just came off. You know what? Let me see something. Let me see if I can do it the other way, instead of the pinch. Well, we can do it the other way, even though it has just a little bit to hold the thread. I 
because the pink stitch I honestly don't like it sometimes you have to use it but ugh. usually do you know just like we can bend it we can pinch this I never seen done this before I did it once in the cat in the cup and then before we put the other part oops we just cut it right in this or do I have to stretch the arm I think I'm gonna be using because I have two things one is steady pole to pull the camera and one arm that moves that's the one I usually use for the webcam but I'm not uh, I'm not uh, probably I switch around I use the pole for the webcam and I don't know yet And we're here, we're done. Sorry if I smack at you. <laughs> I actually smacking the camera, not you. have that area done we're gonna do this but first I want to do something and I forgot to grab my uh cuz I already kit it out you see this this just came off I don't know how I don't know why uh, it's not part of the ones that I put in between because is far this down probably i didn't close it very well and i didn't pass the needle through so we're gonna see how we're gonna fix so i'll be right back just a moment i need to get my case of um the ones that i already kit down so remember the kitting up and this this is 796 I'm sorry if I smack you down and turn off the camera by accident. So I just thought I have to learn how to move my camera. In. <laughs> I mean, how to move my hands. 
I'm going to put this one in here. I love to keep them out this way because I keep them organized. That's why. And I only need one thread, so I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to keep that one in. And this one is going to go in. Remember this? This is where I keep them nice and tidy and organized. Oh yes. Because in the craft business or no business, you gotta keep organized. So, I'm going to grab, I'm not going to deal with this one. Well, I got to change. Uh, no, I don't have to change. I'm going to use um, another needle, like I was explaining, to balance the needle usage. So, they don't all get uh, screwed up. That's why needle has no broken on me. I haven't broke any needle at all and believe me this part is not easy to do and I have done quite a bit of this one So this one came off, right? The first thing I do, I put my needle over here and see where the problem lies. Yeah, the problem lies that I probably didn't do a good job on uh, thing. But I cannot do that side only because then this one might break apart so oh okay I can see now let me see what I'm trying to say is you gotta do this over to okay here it is you see I didn't do a good job on a straighten it over here so on this one maybe I don't need to do two of them okay so let's fix this one and the best way to fix one that's what I like the loop and that's what I like it this way so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this not as usual as I used to do so I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna pinch this one okay so I have to grab and make sure because remember I'm gonna do another loop what the hell is my needle my needle just fell off. <laughs> oh, no, not a good day. You know, you get your days. 
We are humans. We are the one. We who film this are humans. Anyone expecting perfection, well, they better get a ship back to uh, to heaven. Because there is no such thing as perfection on planet Earth. So, let's see. We are trying to get this one pinch. Okay. At the same time, hold on, that I'm putting the needle through here. Okay, that's pinch. Okay, and then we're gonna do the loop. Now, this time we got to secure this very well. Let me, but I'm going to secure this one too because this one is attached to the other one. So we don't want them to come off either. So when it's time for doing this what we're gonna do is oh, let me put it this way better let's see I don't want it to look like a lump in here Okay. Maybe we can put it right in here. Just trying to pinch this one as much as possible. You are making it look like a big freaking nut. Good. That's enough for me. And then I cut it a little bit over here. That's it. So I just fixed that one. That's the way. You just work around it. Okay. And then what I do is I scratch mine with the glad or the finger gladiator shield. I scratch it. Uh, a little bit just to make sure that it's in position and that the other ones won't come off that's it okay. I tie it too much on the back that's what happened well anyway Let's put the needle back. I'm sorry guys, but I cannot leave uh, threads hanging around here. They tend to go to the floor and to Mickey's mouth. 
and I'm very picky about that so I'm gonna put this one here for later use in case we need it and that's it real quick real quick and easy Okay, now let's continue where we were we are doing number 19 which is this square that's half a square in red so over here you see this is what confuses sometimes but I'm assuming that these are um, the diamond ones or the okay we have one over here four right this one is the this one these ones like that that gets confused are leave these lines these double lines so you have to go to the shard that's what i like about joy sunday i cannot go through here because look you don't know you cannot distinguish the number and you need that whether you had that kit or you had the original carton when they come in so you need that so it's gonna be one four two jump one and then one on the right side So we can use this one there's more up here but I'm gonna have to get another thread and on this one but I'm taking it all the way down here to put it on the side because it's easy to stretch the thread oh come on stop coming out Yeah, I always cut a little bit. I like them, uh, you know, paired or leveled or equal, however you want to call it. And you need to stay right there, okay? Let's see. Let's try this again.
Okay, and right before I do the last one, I cut it right there. Yeah, definitely I that like the Joy Sunday ones better because they are very clear. Um, and now that I'm uh, doing this, I'm taking a closer look. When we start doing when I start doing the auto one. same thing happen on that one voila that one is done so I know I'm hitting the camera but I have the camera almost right on my face so you guys can see so they, I know there's more over here and I think I start learning to distinguish between the double um, I bet this is one 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 two three let's see let's see if I'm correct Okay, so there is five of them. So it's one, two, three.
they chomp on that one. And then comes these three. And then comes these two. Okay. I got it right. Maybe there's two more. Starts over here. So let's grab another one. Didn't we do that? When the other one disappeared, here it is. And the needle. Yeah, I have to do that. Because I'm getting close to uh symbols that all look alike and they have unfortunately they have the same color and uh so and that's on this one this is not from joy sunday this is from another brand that apparently is russian because the package so that's why I'm dedicating more hours to this than to the diamond paint because the diamond paint I can finish in a snap but not this It's almost gone too. But we can stitch for a while. I'll change the battery. We can talk anything that you want. So I hope that that tip about the needles. And that's what I like to organize. Especially if you have so many colors like these ones. You have so many colors as this one. Um, to organize it in some gadget just like that one because otherwise or something different you might invent. I mean, I'm not saying you have to spend that money on that guy, you know, though some places they sell it cheap. I bought that one on Amazon because I need it faster. But I'll probably buy another one when it comes time for the autumn and the... And, uh, how you say it, um... When it comes time for autumn and uh, autumn cross stitches, I'm sorry. Just like my buy one blanks. Yeah, I know. Some people get dizzy by watching me turning the. <laughs> Turning the cloth on, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop doing it.
was wondering. Sorry again. I keep on slobbing you. Something's wrong in here that I don't like. And what I don't like is. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the needle out because. this when I realize a mistake late yeah this I don't like this let's see if I can go you know what Let's do the whole stitch again. Yeah, because he was right in between this stitch and I didn't like that. So, that's something you have to be careful. Yeah, I like to cut that a little bit. I like it even. But I'm enjoying, even though with the difficulties that I just show you regarding the symbols, I'm enjoying this because I can't wait until I get it done because I need to finish the mermaid. We're going to do a stitch along pretty soon of the mermaid. That's an 11. Sorry guys, my camera finished and I just slap it again. So thanks God I slap it after uh, the camera, uh, you know cut it off on the time limit I don't even know why but Okay, here we got we got one over here. That one is distinguishable. So
they're having here. Oh, come on. No, no nuts. No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. You were behaving. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, look at this. Look like a curly hair. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh at this. Oh. Let's see. Now you go. Yeah, something that I noticed about this uh, thread that it kind of gets fluffy, you know. again I gotta find where the hole is <laughs> oh god whoops oh okay This one you gotta kind of keep on stretching it. Oh, so I should have, cause there's one stitch away here from some other color. So this one. This is weird. Okay, I got scared. I thought that I did it the other way around. So let's do this one first. Sorry if you're seeing that, not seeing this. I can't wait until I watch this. As a matter of fact, I'm a little scared about this. Because, uh... the hell happened here oh 
yeah, something that I found out too on this one is that the holes are on, I mean, the squares are unequal in size. So, yeah. You're gonna find out the hard way about that. Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta change the battery, guys. Sorry about that. I have to change the battery. It has gone through true battery. This is the third one. When this one is gone, we're gonna have to be gone. Uh, so, what do you think about the position of the camera for the whip and chat now? And uh, it's a different one. I'm using the arm that I use a webcam for the live. To put the camera but I, what i'm doing is i'm putting it in front of me not beside me which was what i was doing and you know kind of messing it up And another thing is about this, the holes in this fabric, it stretches too easily. <laughs> oh God, I, uh, you can't have a lot of fun with your craft, I'm sorry. Nobody tells me. Even you have to do a lot of tasks for having a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not going to call it a work. I'm going to call it task. And, uh, or tax. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
be the case. Sirens with my cusk. And, uh, or the ass I'll be in. Um, you can tell me. Uh, so, <laughs> you can have fun with this. I mean, nobody can tell me otherwise. Okay, let's see. We just did this one. And there's no more up there. So that's the last one. And then we move on to this one. Okay. We're going to have to get another thread. For that one. So... If you want to keep on going, that's fine. If not... See how it's looking? Oh, baby, baby. It's a lot of work over here with this yellow. The yellows are the one who worries me, but I'm gonna leave them for that last. I'm gonna continue after this one. I gotta do the one with this. Uh, well, this is 20. Oh, hold on. I gotta look in the here. This is 19, the one that I'm doing. The next one is a 20 which is the one with the double line so I'd rather finish with that let's see we still have this over here and I like to see to you know kind of plan on it over here 
and this one so we don't have that much I think in about an hour I will finish the whole thing I mean the whole this cup but we're not gonna be here another hour so probably 15 20 more minutes and that's it because this one takes too long to do it so let's start another road oh and by the way my scissors so serves as a needle minder <laughs> sometimes I put it right on top of it Here we go. Yeah, I'm taking out the hair from Mickey. So we're going to be here about 20 minutes. We're going to do this line. And then we're leaving because uh, we ended up here. Because I got to eat. At the time I'm filming is too late. It's very late. Or oh, it's getting late in the evening. doing my way which is this way and you gotta stay in here in place
That is weird, right? That I'm so silent today. <laughs> Sometimes look like I'm smoke something on. Oh, another thing is I was going to say, um, sometimes if you don't turn, I'm thinking that sometimes if you don't turn the fabric a little bit and you force the needle too much, it might break. Yeah, the one that will sign is me. It's like, when the hell she's gonna finish? And I'm like, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> but we're almost done as soon as. Um, I'm done with this section over here. We say goodbye. Until next week, I'll probably do another one in between, although I already scheduled the videos for the week.
Okay, guys. I'm done in here. So hopefully this week I finish to tackle this. And I'm probably going to do this even if I don't put it on the on the thing I just grabbed another needle. And um, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Like always, the stuff is happening to me on my weapon chat and uh, stitch alone. So I hope you like it. I, I love the way that it's coming out. So again, thank you for watching. Give a hug and a kiss from Mickey and I to your fur babies. And much love and peace to all of you. Bye.